It may not be 1917, but George McKay is in this movie and the word war is in the title. That's all I needed to hear. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. There's a brand new political thriller that dropped on the platform today, and we're going to talk about it. Is this movie worth your time, especially if you are a fan of the genre? If you guys like these videos, let me know down below in the comments and drop your thumbs up to support this channel. But I want to talk about this film. Based on the international bestseller by Robert Harris, it is autumn 1938. So close to 1917. And Europe stands on the brink of war. Adolf Hitler is preparing to invade Czechoslovakia and Neville Chamberlain's government desperately seeks a peaceful solution. Hugh, a British civil servant, and Paul, a German diplomat, travel to Munich for the emergency conference. As the negotiations begin, the two old friends find themselves at the center of some very real danger. With the whole world watching, can war be averted? And if so, at what cost? Giannis Newhorner plays Paul. I hope I didn't botch his name. George McKay plays Hugh. And Jeremy Irons plays Neville Chamberlain in this film. A great cast across the board. And that's one thing that stands out with this film right off the bat is the acting, the performances. And someone that comes in a bit later on playing a version of Hitler, who plays obviously an integral role in the war, but in the film itself, it's a more subtle version of Hitler, but at the same time, there is this sporadic nature to this interpretation that is somewhat terrifying. Uh, so I love the portrayal there and I thought he did a wonderful job portraying that but he is more of a side player as is most of the cast to our three really our two main characters but we see the start of this friendship at the beginning of the film not only Hugh and Paul but also uh, Liv Lisa Fries who plays Linya in that group as well and the chemistry showcase between them is great but when we look at our two male characters from that group one is British the other is German and they are both right at the center of this web of political madness that they have to explore and I believe the movie and obviously based off of familiar source material something that I'm not as familiar with with, but I'm sure a lot of you all have read the book. I think the film does an excellent job of showing us how each character sees this war and what they believe their role can be or should be. But there's also that confliction. One of our characters is faced with a potential game-changing, life-changing decision at the end of the film. And we, knowing history, we understand how this is going to turn out. But even knowing the history behind that moment, and if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about, uh, we're still on the edge of our seats because that confliction, we've been seeing that build up all throughout the film. George McKay's Hugh, he is so committed to everything that he is being told, and he is completely on board with the personal and political sacrifice that he has to go through. But the further we go, the more he begins to kind of rethink, not necessarily his stance, but more so his mentality on the war. And so, of course, he is on the British side. On the other side of things, you have Paul with the German side, and he's angry. He is consistently flustered with everything happening in the country, and he just wants to really feel as if he's making the correct impact in his eyes, maybe not in other people's eyes. So, you see the different sides. I believe the movie does a good job of that. And then, of course, you have Jeremy Irons, who is on George McKay's side, and everything that he is being fed from Irons, it feels like every word that he's being told, there's a thought process there. Uh, that is yet another thing the movie does a good job of exploring. So, the film does a really nice job of taking the mentalities of the characters and just laying them out on screen. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. Now, that being said, most of the film is dialogue. With that comes great exploration, uh, but also with a lack of action, you could have some audience members, viewers that aren't, I say history buffs, there are obviously things in this film that aren't historical, but if you're not a, a huge fan of the historical aspect of this movie, you may find yourself getting a bit antsy when it comes to the pacing, because the pacing of the film will probably go down as my biggest issue, per se, and I'm not one that sees a lack of action as a bad thing. Sometimes a political thriller can be one of my favorite movies of that year, and that's happened a couple of times over the last 10 years, but you also have to go about a story like this with a unique spin. Lay it out in a way that maybe we've seen before, but not quite executed in that way. And unfortunately, the big downside to this movie is the fact that we have seen this type of story be told countless times. And because there isn't all that much that happens around this core conflict, which again, 
I love the sense of focus with that, but I wasn't entirely invested uh, throughout. I found myself kind of checking out a couple of times, having to come back in, you know, rethink what I was seeing at that moment. And even with these great dramatic beats at points, the up and down friendship between the two, uh, two people with very different backgrounds. And I love a movie that can explore that and uh, allow us to see both sides, even though we don't agree with every decision being made. The film does a nice job of towing that line. I do wish there was a bit more of a sense of urgency with the movie and with that criticism. I also believe it's just a bit too long, cut out around 20 minutes and the runtime would have kept me so much more engaged than it actually did. And again, the idea of delivering on a stressful film strictly through dialogue is impressive, but at the same time, uh, within that direction, the urgency has to be there just a bit more to keep you on the edge of your seat. And this movie almost got there. Didn't quite get there for me, but at the same time, I was really impressed with the performances, the chemistry between the actors, and just the way they went about handling this material. I also want to shout out the score here of all the technical elements. The music behind these tension-filled moments uh, is genuinely really good. Before I give you guys my score, I want to say thank you so much for watching this review. Did you enjoy this film? Are you a fan of this genre? Appreciate you all for watching. Pacing is an issue here, and the film plays it somewhat safe, uh, but the emotional impact of the story is there, and the performances are great. I'm on the positive side with this one. I'm going a 62% with my score. This is one of those movies that's going to impact a lot of people in various ways, but at the end of the day, you look at these performances and the way at points it kept you on the edge of your seat and a bit of insight into some historical moments. So that is always fun. Appreciate you guys big time for watching. I'll see you soon.